patients, one of the things you'll come across in your in, uh, in life, and maybe you at home have this, is strabismus, uh, especially adult strabismus, strabismus, or child onset or childhood onset. So I do want you to think about there's multiple aspects of this. Uh, obviously, there's the medical aspect of it. You've already been to the medical provider. You've already done everything else you can do. Ideally, before you attempted surgery, you would actually work on the muscles themselves of the orbit. Now, this is not an easy thing, and again, you have to be careful. Uh, you will be working on yourself, most likely. So do not stretch your, uh, scratch your cornea, but do not go across the middle of the eye. That's not what we're looking for. We're always at the edges and around the orbit. So being careful and already having consulted your physicians. Okay, so you can see we have a little bit of strabismus here. Go ahead and close your eyes for me. So we are going to gently grasp the eyeball and we're going to stretch. And so I'm going to stretch it this way, that way. I'm going to intorsion and extorsion the eye to stretch those muscles because these muscles attach to the eyeball and then attach to the orbit itself. So some people do cranial, cranial work to help those bones and that's perfectly okay. That's a good place to start. But okay, now I'm going to do my intorsion. I'm actually going counterclockwise with a left eye. And you can feel that there's a lot of tension there, especially on the outer uh, aspect of his eyeball. And so I'm just gently adding a little traction to that, and there goes the muscle. Okay, and I'm going to intorsion a little bit more. So the whole one of the problems with strabismus is, and that the eyes can't trap together is that the muscles are too tight in some fashion. So head injuries, or uh, not everything grows perfectly. So uh, understanding that, just like any other muscle, the proper stretching and the proper technique. Okay, so there's the actual eyeball technique itself. Then there is the gently, gently, not putting too much pressure on the eyeball. You can see that I'm able to gently get my finger inside the orbit, and then I can put some tension on those self-same muscles that I felt were tense. Again, we're not scratching the cornea. But I can get my fingers down inside that orbit, not too far, but just far enough to get the fascia, a little painful. So go gently. Go easy. But what we're trying to do is loosen those muscles, yeah, get them to work appropriately and in imbalance, and that will restore proper function. And I'll go across the other, other way. Work across the body and into the eyeball again. Now, just as a side note, uh, the tear duct uh, gland tube that removes tears from the eyes goes down into the nose. When you work on the inside or the, the nasal side of the eyeball, it'll be on that. So if it's thickened or if somebody has gets lots of goop in their eye, and especially with strabismus, that often happens because of the tension and the irritation. You'll also want to massage that uh, that duct or that to uh, remove tears. There we go. Okay, and then again, working across the body see that he's somewhat tethered on this medial side or the, the nasal side, rostral side. Again, not going across the cornea, just more on the actual eyeball itself. I'm going to attempt extorsion here, so I'm turning clockwise on his left eye. And I'm actually combining my motions of left and right and up and down. That's a little painful. You can see that's painful on that left side of that eye. Because that eyeball is being formed and pulled out of true, so it can't really attain center line with the right eye. So the right eye is the lead eye, left eye is the lead eye. There we go. There we go. Just good. And you can see that instead of using force or too much pressure, gentle, sustained, uh, sustained work is really the best way to go about it. And so then what we're trying to do is then that's, that's how we track. It's very irritating to do it in short bouts, but you have to work on the muscles of the eye for strabismus as much as you would do any other muscle, like you would work on shoulder muscles or anything else. Okay, so click, uh, click like, and we'll uh, see you in the next video.